we're at home, we can relax, forget about looking good, and act as stupid as we want. But at work, we like to create a good impression. Well, some people do. Did you mean to do that? Yeah. <laughs> you can't just eat a meal off a waitress's chest, or can you? When you drill a hole and discover a never-ending treasure trove of... What is that? Dirt? <laughs> you might wonder what this guy's job is, but it's pretty simple. Making people furious. <laughs> <laughs> this gives new meaning to the phrase downing a few beers. When a car caught fire, these experienced firefighters sprang into action. The fire extinguisher was obviously so embarrassed, it had to leave immediately. If you're gonna delicately try to plug a leak, then it's probably best not to use a big, sharp metal tractor. This is one of those rare rope ladders that you can't climb up or down. To work in the automotive industry, you need to be good with your hands, so I suppose you can afford to lose a foot. Luckily, the owner of this van wasn't inside it. Unluckily, he only had one more payment until it was his. <laughs> this is what happens when you hire Aquaman to do your plumbing. When the people in this apartment spotted a small leak in their sink, the owners not only hired an amateur plumber to take care of it, but also neglected to mention where the water switch was located. Um, whoops. Maybe if the word stop was written on the other side of that bollard, things could have been different. There were only three sure things in life. Death, taxes, and apprentices getting pranked. <laughs> Every single money. When you buy a new piece of construction equipment, it's always best to read the instructions. And now, for a quick change of pace, here we see a genius at work. Students just ahead. We're not live. We're not sure what's on those shelves, but wouldn't it be ironic if they were boxes of dominoes? These kids lost themselves in a pile of leaves, and their dad almost lost his life due to the heart attack they gave him. You know, we really need to do something about next door's tree before it damages our... Never mind. Oh, come on. We all spell words wrong sometimes, even if we do have them written down on a huge sign right in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> when the food in the restaurant is so bad that the waitress simply saves you the trouble of complaining. FedEx, handling your fragile packages with care since 1971. To be fair to this truck driver, avoiding helicopters isn't usually part of his job description. When your scooter hates work so much that it just leaves without you. Your mission, to stop the bird from flying away. Okay, mission aborted. This guy's eyes are saying, I quit, before the first drink even starts to fall. Uh, it's that old favorite, dog paw prints in wet cement. A classic apprentice prank. This poor guy's been asked to carry out a voltage test by hitting a patch of grass with a hammer. <laughs> After this gentleman started pouring the champagne, the glasses weren't the only thing in tears. <laughs> 
some machines get so sick of work that they actually try to eat themselves. This lady either doesn't know what a fuel pump looks like, or really hates her car and has a lighter in her pocket. He cleans this thing so well that it looks like it just disappeared. The most idiotic thing about this footage is that the guy behind the camera isn't bothering to shout, Stop! Bear! <laughs> This is what happens when you hire Buster Keaton's great-grandson to run your window showroom. This is a real quick and easy method to create your own Jackson Pollock painting. You know those videos of polar bears desperately clinging to small pieces of ice? Well, this is what it'd look like if they wore high-visibility vests. <laughs> This is pretty bad, but he could always say it was caused by a very large bird flying overhead. No, Who's going cool. next? Somebody go next. Yeah, it's a lot more slippery than you think. This truck has decided to tow this car from a bad situation to an even worse one. Stoy, 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 yeah, this is the maritime version of when you try to cram everything into one bag at the supermarket. Now, Akimbo aren't experts on the oil industry, but we're gonna say that this wasn't supposed to happen. When you really hate the tree outside your house, but you also really hate your house. Here it comes. <gasps> it's a little known fact that there's usually one key bottle holding an entire shelf of bottles up. And if you move it, then... If you want to get things for free, then you need to use your head. Or, in this case, your belly. Today's computers are so light that you even need to make sure you don't breathe on them too heavily. If there ever was a bad time to forget to use your handbrake, then this was it. all encountered road rage, but it's going too far when the vehicle in front starts pooping at you. This is one of those moments when a piece of construction equipment suddenly transforms into a fairground ride. To be fair, we've all felt like this truck after we've had a hot curry. This man has mastered the finer points of how to open a champagne bottle with grace, dignity, and... Oh, no, he hasn't. Yes, we're all laughing at this, so I suppose we're all going to hell. Buddhists would tell you that change only comes from within. Well, not for this guy, who dropped six cash registers worth of coins. <laughs> you know what would help the situation? An explosion! <laughs> now that you've seen a variety of idiots at work, it's time to make sure you're not an idiot at home by clicking subscribe.